Hi, I'm Nate Johnson, owner and head trainer at Steel String Training, where we believe in prehab, rehab, and doing what you thought was impossible. Today is... In this video, all I've got for you is one rule. This is the one rule that you need to follow as far as your nutrition goes when you're looking to bulk, put on muscle, gain mass, whatever it is you want to call it. If you want to be big, muscular, and strong, you've got to follow this one rule, okay? And it's got to do with calories. So here it goes. The one rule is hit your calorie goal, okay? Now, the question is first, how do I find my calorie goal? Well, first, you either need to estimate through an online calculator, uh, talking to me, or if you know it off the top of your head um, through past experiences, that's great. Regardless of what you're doing, you need to find a rough estimate of your maintenance calories. These are how many calories you need to eat per day in order to maintain your body weight. All right, so once you have this, let's say that your maintenance calories are 2,500 a day. So if you ate 2,500 calories every single day, you would not gain a pound, you would not lose a pound, you'd stay exactly where you were. Now, when we're trying to put on muscle, size, mass, what we have to do is overeat. Now, I've taken this to the extreme in the past and made progress based on scale weight. However, I was gaining weight way too quickly. So, now, I've also been on the other end of the spectrum where I haven't been anywhere. I, the scale didn't move. Um, I wasn't paying attention to how many calories I was eating, but I clearly wasn't eating enough because I wasn't going anywhere. The scale wasn't budging at all. I wasn't getting any bigger, any stronger. So, what we need to do, like all things in life, is find a happy medium. What I recommend is taking your maintenance calories and upping that 250 per day and just hit that number. So if your maintenance calories are 2,500, you need to be eating 2,750 calories every single day. Now, this should, theoretically speaking, lead to you gaining two pounds per month. In my opinion, this is optimal. I would not go above gaining three pounds per month. Um, for guys, two pounds a month, three pounds is max. For women, I would not go above gaining one and a half pounds per month, but for women, I recommend maybe 100, 150 calorie surplus. So if your maintenance is 2,500 as a female, I would gain, I would eat 2,600, 2,650 calories per day. And so the reason this is, is your body can only build muscle uh, at a certain rate. And so if your goals are physique, you want to make sure that you're building muscle, but you're not putting on too much fat. You're not just trying to get big and strong and huge for a sport. Then you need to have nice, slow, steady progress. Now I say slow, but this is actually the fastest that your body can put on muscle mass. So what happens is if you overeat, you eat too much, um, too many calories, yeah, you'll gain extra weight, but you can't force feed muscle growth if you're not taking steroids, growth hormone, things like that. So you will just put on extra fat. So, so the average guy can put on anywhere from one to two pounds of solid mus muscle tissue a month. Um, and then women is going to be about half of that. So you need to make pretty conservative jumps with your calorie intake. Now, what a lot of you will find is you add in this 250 calories extra per day and the scale doesn't move, maybe eating that extra bit just ramps up in the metabolism. That's fine. Hang out there for two to four weeks. If the scale doesn't budge at all, if your numbers aren't going up in the gym, um, if you're not seeing any added size through um, you know, circumference measurements on the muscles or um, just visually in the mirror, after that two to four week period, you know for sure that you've kind of stalled out, bump it up another 250 calories. And so follow this process until you find a number that you can hit every day to where you're consistently gaining half a pound or so a week, so two pounds a month. Females try to gain one pound a month. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. Obviously you need to make sure that you're uh, increasing your strength in the gym. That needs to be your sole focus. Everything needs to be intent. You need to be intent on increasing the strength on your main lifts during this time. Otherwise, you're just going to end up fatter than when you started, not more muscular. So get stronger, hit your calorie goal, shoot for about two pounds of muscle gain a month. If you're a guy, if you're a girl, shoot for about one pound of muscle. I'm sorry, one pound of weight gained, which should be muscle per month. That's all I got for you today. One rule, pretty basic. Follow it. You'll make some gains.